Ukraine today is joined by the officer of the new patrol police in Kyiv, Alex Harshenko. Alex, welcome to Ukraine today. Hello. Alex, tell us how did your first days of patrolling the streets of Kyiv go? Did you encounter any problems? A lot of positive emotions, uh, a lot of uh, new experiences that we were taught we would encounter, but which were still exciting to go through for the first time. Uh, speaking of difficulties, yes, there were some difficulties uh, because when, when something is done for the first time, uh, you, 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 can't, uh, you can't foresee everything, but I would say that the start was very positive. How do the people on the streets react to you? I know there are a lot of reports that everybody is taking selfies with you. Apart from that, how, how do they react to you? Mostly smiling, uh, mostly trying to test the distance, if you see what I mean, because the, 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 the moral distance, the mental distance between people on the street and the old militia was very large. Uh, people are trying to approach and uh, to see how we would react. There are a lot of talks between tensions uh, between you yourself and the old police. What is the situation on this front? Um, the old guys clearly realize that you are there to replace them. Well, uh, yes and no, because on one hand, uh, it was absolutely foreseeable that the old guys would not love us very much, but. On the other hand, I tell everybody that this is uh, dangerous to, to make a clear-cut distinction between the old militia and the new police. Things are more complicated. And uh, I think that these tensions are under control now. Alex, how do you see your future cooperation with the criminal investigative police? These guys are clearly, clearly not going anywhere. You guys are there on the streets and they will always see you as golden boys. Well, um, we are in the same boat and we have to find our common place. Well, just yesterday was a report that a new police brought in um, some guys into one of the police units and then and, and the police, the, the, the former police, uh, did not want to uh, process these, these alleged criminals, alleged offenders. So how this will work in the future? Do you think that these tensions will, will continue? Uh, a lot is, uh, a lot depends upon the human factor specific circumstances in, in specific situations can, can, can decide a lot. I think that uh, finding uh, mutual understanding takes time. I think that some painful experiences will lead us to, to better understanding, but we, we have no other choice but to find common language because these old guys, they are still part of the society. I understand. Alex, tell us about yourself. Uh, you were practicing lawyers, and lawyers usually fight the police in courts. Why did you decide to become one? Well, uh, I did have many, many different motivations to, to, to become a street policeman on different levels. I can't say that I felt uh, extremely successful as, a, as, a, as an IT lawyer, although some people say that I was one of the few really bright IT lawyers in Ukraine. But I, one thing I felt for sure is that I wanted to, to go into some kind of a service. Uh, it, it really did feel better to serve the society than to earn money at some point. I can't say that this is forever, but at some point in my life, I felt that I want to enter service. There are a lot of talks that you guys will bring the change into the society, that, that the change will start with you. 
do you feel that as well? Uh, yes and no. Uh, mostly yes, because uh, most girls and guys in the new police are well aware that we are part of, of the major change, of the major change in this country. No, because we are still in the society, we are part of the society, and uh, we, we feel the, the, the negative consequences of the old system every day. I understood. Alex, according to the Interior Ministry, um, out of 34,000 applications, only 2,000 were selected uh, to become new uh, police officers here in Kyiv. That's 17 people for one place. That's, higher, that, that, that's a higher competition than when I was getting into one of the major law schools here in Ukraine. How difficult it was for you to go through this selection process? It was difficult. It was difficult, uh, as I understand now, but I did not understand it uh, during the selection process. I wanted to, to get into the new police, and I did, because I wanted. Of course, it, it was not that easy, because uh, there were various tests, but I think that we're here and now, and this is what matters. We have a lot of problems to encounter. We have a lot of really, really hard challenges ahead. And, and we need to, to, to look forward. What motivated you to go through these selection processes, to go through these trainings, to go through the classes and make it all over these, these, throughout these several months and make it all over where you are right now? Um, again, I have many motivations, but I thought that I had not that much to lose if I tried. And uh, I actually felt confident with every day, with every new day that I made the right choice to join the, the, the new service. Because it really, it is really a gathering of uh, young people who, who are both, uh, successful enough in their previous lives uh, but who want more change. We were predominantly motivated uh, by the understanding that we did not leave this country uh, in, in, in hard times. Therefore, since we're here, we have to do something. And Alex, it's, it's not a secret that the traffic police is one of the most corrupt government agencies, has been the most corrupt government agencies. What makes you confident that the new uh, street patrolling police will not get sucked into this corrupt system? Basically, what makes you think that, this, that these you guys will be able to change the system and not vice versa? Human factor. Uh, it all depends upon human factor. Any system can be cheated. Any instructions can be downplayed. But so long, faces I see and the voices I hear make me sure that despite what, despite some dangerous moments, we can still go through it because it was a choice of um, was a choice of mo morality to, to go to, to the new police by many people who would earn more not entering the service but continuing their businesses but probably these people think about their children probably they they have entered some point of their life when they understand that money here and now does not matter that much when there is a war in your country and you're not sure about your kids' future. Well, let's hope that this uh, remains true uh, for the months and years to come for the new police. Uh, Alex, many thanks for coming to us and talking to us. This was Volodymyr Solov for Ukraine Today, together with the officer of new patrol police in Kyiv, Alex Kharchenko. Thank you for watching us.